Well guys, you, like myself, have uh, probably decided to try out the Jetty uh, radio system. Uh, here we have the Jetty DC-16, uh, it's the tray style radio. Comes in a nice aluminum case with a battery charger. About the size of a, uh, a tablet actually, uh, good, good size tablet, thickness of a laptop. Very nice aluminum machine. I'm going to get into in a little bit, we're going to take the back cover off and I opted for the three position switch on the left hand throttle rudder stick. This is for a heli application naturally. Um, the radio also comes with uh, a manual, uh, not in English. Um, it is available in English online. It comes with a nice little uh, wipe down cloth that has the uh, image of the radio silk screened onto it comes with a few stickers. It comes with a set of Allen wrenches to take the back cover off. It also comes with some uh, and comes with a binding plug as well. I'm gonna cut away right now and when we come back uh, I'll have the back cover off and we'll go over the installation of the three position switch which right now I have mounted the switch body. The switch body has been mounted to the stick. The switch has been removed from the stick itself and we'll go for installation down through the stick, out through the back gimbal and uh, solder it onto the board as per the online instructions. Okay guys, here we have the radio. Back covers off. It's uh, fairly simple. Ten screws. Allen, the small Allen key that's included in with the uh, radio bag. Uh, three top, three bottom, two sides. Battery uh, back cover comes off. Uh, save the foam blocks that come in the uh, transmitter case uh, for shipping. Um, they have cutouts, they fit the gimbals when you flip it over. Uh, makes for a somewhat nice uh, work stand. Anyway, um, here we have the switch. It has three wires on it, a red, uh, a yellowish orange wire, and a black. One side of the switch has a little metal dot um, that faces the a retaining set screw that's uh, in the switch body. You take the original uh, switch knob that's on there off and replace it with the uh, three position switch. And I snaked the wires down, basically twisted the three wires together real tight on the end. And then you're able to uh, pull it down the center of the stick shaft. Insert the switch into the handle. Like so. And then lightly tighten up on the set screw to retain the switch in the end of the uh, gimbal stick. Look guys, when you do put the switch assembly on the gimbal stick, the set screw on the side, at least on my switch assembly, when the, switch, the set screw is facing across the radio, that will give you switch operation up, middle, and down. If you have the set screw facing top or bottom, the switch operation will be side to side. Okay guys, here we have the three wires pulled up through the gimbal stick. Um, now we're going to have to thread the wires through the, the gimbal bearing core, come up on the other side of the circuit board, come up through the ball bearing uh, core or the core of the shaft, and then there's three solder terminals on this uh, circuit board. I'll try to take a close-up still of that for you, but uh, basically just uh, solder the wires onto those uh, three terminals. What I was able to do to get the wires through the gimbal shaft was to stand the radio up on end and if you hold the rudder stick to what would be uh, right rudder, excuse me, left rudder, it will deflect the, the gimbal plate out of the way a little bit. I took one wire, uh, I picked a black wire, and with a pair of uh, needle nose pliers you're able to feed the wire through the hollow core of the gimbal shaft till it comes out the other side. I pulled a little bit of that one wire out and I tied a uh, piece of sewing thread. You could use dental floss as well, but a small fine thread to the black wire 
pulled the black wire back through the shaft. Then I took all three wires, grouped them together so the ends were even with each other. Uh, put a couple of half hitches around there with the sewing thread and put one half hitch right around the very end where the tinned ends of the wire end right at the insulation to hold the leading edge of the group of wires really tight together. And I was able to work by pushing on this side and giving a, a slight bit of pull on this side, work all three wires through the hollow core of the gimbal shaft. It is a real tight fit. There's already three wires going through there. It's a real small hole in the, uh, the gimbal shaft, so take your time, but I was able to get the three wires through here, and I will then proceed now to solder them to the circuit board. have uh, the three wires soldered to the circuit board for the uh, left stick mounted switch or I decided to put it on the left hand side you could put it on the right and uh, the diagram on the uh, PDF instructions is not in color but based on the shading uh, black goes on to brown red uh, went on with the red and then the yellow matches up with like an orange yellow on the right hand side so it would be black red yellow and here's your solder connections if you decide to put a push button switch or a three position switch on the cyclic stick on the right hand side. As far as adjustments go, on the left hand uh, collective or throttle and rudder switch, um, you have this screw on the inside is the ratchet uh, tension adjustment. Uh, basically out of the box the throttle stick or collective stick comes in airplane mode. It's got a ratcheting detent. If you back the screw out a little bit, the ratchet totally releases, and the screw right next to it in the middle is your tension for friction on your throttle or vertical movement of the left-hand gimbal. Uh, doesn't take much. It was about a quarter of a turn. It got to the way I feel. I like the feel of it. Um, if you back it out a little bit and it has no friction on it, that stick will just flop up and down like it was uh, mounted on butter. Uh, these gimbals are really, really smooth. Something I like about the radio. Battery connection down here. I disconnected when I was doing any work in the radio. Um, switches. I decided to move the top rightmost switch and the top leftmost switch. As the radio comes, the spring-loaded uh, toggle was on the top left and a three-position switch was on the top right. I uh, swapped them out so it's similar to my Fataba uh, 12FG where the spring-loaded trainer switch is on the top right and a three-position switch is over there. I don't know what I'm going to sign to it. Uh, there's a three-position small switch below that that I'm going to use for my flight modes. Um, on the right-hand uh, cyclic stick, your tension adjustments are... Uh, one is located here and the other one is located there on the, on the frame. So tightening up the adjustment uh, will increase the tension and turning it counterclockwise or loosening it up will decrease the tension. To change the switch out, this radio is, is pretty nice uh, for switch selectability. Uh, it's got uh, nuts which they call out in the instruction book that you need a special wrench for it. Um, I was able to take both my thumb fingernails, put them in the groove and unlock the nut. They're not super tight. Uh, screw the nut off, take it off the switch, and then on the back of the radio, with one hand I would put pressure on the threaded portion of the switch, and with another finger I just lifted and wiggled the circuit board a little bit, and there's a six pin plastic socket. That switch will pop right out. Same on the other side, swap them around, pop them in, put the nuts back on, and you're done.